Hi guys and welcome to the first ever video on my channel. Um, I kind of just had an epiphany right now. I just received for the very first time in the mail my very first Allure beauty subscription box and I was about to open it. I actually pulled off the plastic wrapping part and I was like, you know what? I love, I really love unboxing videos. Like that's probably all I do in my free time, which is the time I'm actually supposed to be studying is watching <laughs> unboxing videos. And once upon a time, but anyway, um, so I decided, yeah, I love subscription boxes. I love unboxing videos. It, all of it just feels like a giant gift to myself and um, who doesn't deserve that, am I right? So anyway, um, since this is my first video, I apologize in advance for um, the bad production quality since this is all happening on my Mac in my bedroom, which is very dirty at the moment. And uh, for the sound quality, the light quality, again, very sorry in advance. But um, I guess without further ado, let's jump right into it. So this is what the other um, beauty box looks like. I'm getting into it now. I love this part. If I could just open it. <laughs> ah, okay. So first off, we have this guy. This is... Um, a booklet which I'm assuming would contain yes it actually contains product descriptions um, I'm assuming this is one of the products in my box uh, as well as the price of the products the key ingredients uh, I'm looking at it at the same time as you how it smells and feels and a bunch of other stuff and why the editors like it because I believe um, the Allure editors are the ones who put this together. Um, FYI, um, the Allure Beauty Box is actually a monthly beauty box and it's about 15 US dollars a month. Um, if you are interested, however, I do believe there is a $5 off on the first month coupon which I could link for you below in the description box. So just watch out for that. But um, anyway, moving on. I don't want to look through the whole booklet just now because I kind of do want to keep it a little bit of a surprise what's in here. So yes, now the good part. Everything is just getting in my way. So here we are. This is so exciting. All right, I don't know where to start. Okay, I'm gonna start with this because I recognize the packaging. This is a Tatcha product. Did I say that right, Tatcha? I think it's Tatcha. This is so cute. <laughs> this is the Indigo Silk Soothing Silk Body Butter. Sorry. And let's see. I love I love this color of purple too. I wanted to see if I could smell it without opening it, but that's unlikely. It has a little seal on it, which I actually like because uh keeps the product fresh. Ooh. Definitely is indigo. Wow, look at that. Look at the color of this thing. See, this kind of um looks like it has the consistency of a sorbet but let's find out so it is um very lightweight i'm really digging that i'm usually not very big on body moisturizers but i'm feeling this like it's super duper light gets absorbed very easy and uh, doesn't really leave a oily residue just kind of like a nice gleam which i bet you can't really see because of the quality Smells so good, kind of almost like a passion fruit, but very, very, very subtle and uh, not at all loud. I'm really digging the smell. So um, that's our first product. Let's see what our little booklet has to say about this. This is a scented coddling, supremely cool looking body moisturizer. That it is. Um, it hydrates and soothes the skin. Key ingredients are glycerin, indigo extract, hence the indigo part. Um, an oatmeal to calm irritation. I can smell some oatmeal in there, but it's very subtle, very light. It's apparently $12 for an ounce, and this is, oh, it's an ounce. This is, this is a nice little purse size, though, especially when you're traveling and you want to look all fancy in your purse. Come on, guys. Move on to the next thing, which I think, uh, I'm an eyeshadow hoe, so this is going to be it. This is a free Matic eyeshadow. 
without destroying it myself. And eyeshadow is actually quite small, but that's fine. This is a good pocket purse size. Tried it on. So this is a brown powder eyeshadow with a tinge of shimmer. I am a shimmer girl all the way, and I'm very, very big on bronze colors. So yeah, this is um, $10. Ooh, this is a sliding eyeshadow. So it's very pretty. Uh, if you guys can see. Ignore my very badly painted nails, by the way. This is just disgraceful. Yeah. Uh, very shimmery. And uh, sorry, I smudged a little bit with my finger. That's why it looks like funky. But Ooh, so it uh, applies very smoothly and softly onto my fingers. So very pretty bronze. Shimmer is definitely kind of subtle, but there. And um, I like it. I like it a lot. If you guys are interested in seeing me put this on or even just um, in general, if you guys are interested in a product review for any of these, please let me know. I will be more than happy to do that for you. And let's move on actually now to the next thing. So this is a dry shampoo. It's by the brand Chlorine. Chloran. Pronouncing things? Not really my special skill in life. Eating is my special skill. So um, this is an aerosol dry shampoo for all hair types and colors. Awesome, because I just recently dyed my hair. Degreases dirty hair. And uh, because I have greasy hair, this is my natural curly hair that I haven't done anything to. So except for straightening the bangs a little bit. But um, my hair does get greasy. So I do definitely have to shampoo it every single day. So this would kind of be interesting. I'm really interested in seeing how this works. I don't want to spray this into my face, but I do want to know what it smells like. It's kind of floral. <laughs> floral also. It smells like hairspray, to be honest, with like a little bit of a floral touch, but it doesn't seem like it's um, overbearing. I would say it kind of has like a powdery scent to it, which I like. It smells very fresh, very clean, and not a lot like hairspray, but definitely does have a hairspray kind of smell to it. This is apparently $20 for 3.2 ounces. This is only one ounce. So that's actually still a pretty decent value. Moving on to the next product. This is a deep conditioning mask. Guys, I am all about hair products um, by Brigio, Brigio. This one says no sulfates, no silicones, and no parabens. Yay! I like that kind of stuff. So, um, let's see. This is like a 5 to 10 minute before rinsing. I really, really love hair masks. Um, whether it's like do-it-yourself ones at home, which I love to do. I try to do um, a, a repair mask on my own hair um, once a week, but they're mostly like DIY ones. But, um, oh, if you guys are interested in seeing one of those, let me know. Um, but I'm very excited to try this, actually. I want to know what it smells like. The One of the key ingredients in this is avocado oil, which is really good for your hair, and rosehip oil. Guys, rosehip oil is like the holy grail. It's amazing stuff. And almond oil? Oh, my God. This is like some of my favorite stuff. Anyway, biotin? Sorry, I'm just like glancing over this stuff and I'm like super impressed. Biotin is also amazing for strengthening your hair and your nails. Oh my god, it smells so good. Phil, I just got some on my nose. My nose is going to be very soft now. Oh my god. I totally look like I'm doing something bad, but I just really like the smell. It's very, very, very light floral, really clean. Again, kind of smells a little bit like the Tatcha moisturizer. It's like, um, I can definitely, what I can really smell in here is the rose hip and the almond oil. <gasps> and mascara. I love mascaras. Love, love, love. My all-time favorite is the Estee Lauder one. Um, it's in black, thank God, because I have dark eyebrows and lashes and brown on me just does nothing for you guys who have like you know definitely like the lighter hair and 
I'm sure brown looks lovely on you, but it, it does nothing for me. So um, I'm very grateful that this is in black. I also really like the packaging for this. Um, this is what, I'm holding it backwards. I'm embarrassing. There we go. All right. So this is interesting. This is actually a full size. It says that this lengthens, separates, and thickens lashes. I am really digging how it opens too. It definitely feels like one of those mascaras that are not going to um, be hard to close once you open them and they're just like half closed forever. And I love the bristles. This is great. And generally speaking, um, these kind of br br bleh, bristles are really, really good for um, lengthening. Oh, it says right here actually that they are glossy and remarkably non-gloppy thank you because i was wondering um it's a mascara that lengthens separates and thickens i'm all about this i really dig it not to mention this is a full size so i'm pretty impressed by this again if you guys are interested in knowing what these products are actually like especially this one because i will definitely definitely be using this because i'm a mascara hoe let me know um i will be happy to do it for you and now on to the last product in my box, which I'm really sad about. I just wish this was like the endless gift box or just take it with me. Okay, so this is a body wash infused buffer. Guys, this is my favorite thing ever. Um, it's Freesia Pear, which I love pears and I love Freesia. This cleanses, exfoliates, massages, and nourishes, and it has multi-use. It is actually the full size also. I'm very impressed by the fact that some of these were actually, like, a full size. Um, and the fact that Tatcha is in the mix is pretty impressive, too, because that is actually a very um, well-known brand, I would say. So, the actual price of this is $15. Oh, jeez. Did I show you guys the box? I keep forgetting to do that. Forget the box. This is what the sponge looks like. I like it. Uh, it's really um firm to the touch, but I'm sure that changes <laughs> once you, um, you know, pet it underwater. It smells so good too. The description says it smells lush, fresh, and slightly floral, kind of like a beautiful garden after the rain. I could not think of a better way to describe that more accurately. That's definitely what it smells like. Um, it says that you can even double as a room or gym bag atomizer. That's pretty amazing. Basically, you just leave it in the open and it will make everything around it smell good. So, yes. Um, I will probably end up using this tonight. I'm so excited. But anyway, guys, with that last product, um, that is the end of my box. Sadly. That is really sad. But um, if you guys have any questions about... The products which I will probably end up trying most of them right now after this or over the course of the next couple of days if you guys are curious as to the product performance if I ended up buying full sizes how well the mascara lasts how well the eyeshadow lasts did any of them really work please let me know down below I would be happy to answer any of your questions I would be happy to uh, I would be happy to, you know, follow up on it. But yeah, I'm very sorry for this painfully long video. I hope that you enjoyed it. And I hope you put up with my very bad quality of everything. And I hope um, I hope you have an amazing day. Thank you so much for patiently watching this. And uh, yeah. Bye.